Welcome, everybody. This year, the organization so many of us have come to know as Jones Legacy has become Uniting Against Lung Cancer. And that name change is some measure of just how far we've come as we have built one of the best lung cancer research funding organizations in the country. We've attracted partners who share our vision and our goals, other groups dedicated to fighting this same battle. We started out, as you'll recall, to remember our friend Joan. Some of us called her Jonesy, but we also wanted to do something in her memory to fight the devastating disease that took her from us, lung cancer. This new era of collaboration, building on our experience of creating a strong organization, means we can contribute even more resources to the important work of finding a cure for the deadliest of cancers through innovative research. Through the years, more and more people have put their money to work through our grants program, funding the best researchers selected by our distinguished medical committee. One of those researchers is Dr. Ita Lairdofringa of the University of Southern California. She was awarded a $100,000 grant back in 2006 for her innovative work in epigenetics. We got funding from Jones Legacy and that allowed us to get that project started. It's very difficult to obtain grant funding for new ideas. And that's where the foundations come in. They allow you to do new things, sometimes crazy things, to see if they work. And once you have that data, then you can use that to submit a grant. Dr. Laird Ofringa has used that seed money to gather enough data to leverage those results into a National Cancer Institute grant of $1.5 million. Organizations like Uniting Against Lung Cancer are so important because it's been very, very challenging to get lung cancer funded. Um, it's getting better, fortunately. Um, especially because of the advocacy of organizations like Uniting Against Lung Cancer. People are focusing the limelight on lung cancer, which is very important. With greater support from our many partners in Uniting Against Lung Cancer, we can fund even more cutting-edge research, research into a terrible disease that affects more than 215,000 people every year in the U.S. alone. To date, we have funded over 60 grants, totaling more than $6 million. That's money awarded to fund brilliant researchers across the country. That total includes the following new grants this year at leading cancer research institutions. Uniting Against Lung Cancer is investing seed money in a number of promising areas. First, discovering new genes that are malfunctioning in lung cancer and repairing malfunctioning tumor suppressor genes that are supposed to prevent those tumors from forming. Second, finding new blood tests to detect lung cancer early. Third, developing miniature technologies to deliver safer, less invasive treatments and help doctors find tumors more easily. Fourth learning how stem cells help lung cancer develop. And finally, learning how to stop tumors from growing by cutting off their blood supply or by blocking specific pathways that are needed for their growth. Annually, the JONI is awarded to honor excellence in journalism that furthers awareness and knowledge about lung cancer. This year, the award goes to Mark Roth of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette for his two-part series that focused on how anyone can get lung cancer and why this particular cancer often gets short shrift compared to others when it comes to research money. He also highlighted new research that is increasing treatment options. 
We are raising money for more grants by expanding our efforts in a number of directions, including adding new Kites for a Cure events this year, following in the successful footsteps of the third annual Kites for a Cure in Southampton, New York. I had forgotten how much fun it was till I got out here, and it just nothing feels as great as when you actually get it up in the air. We started this last year in memory of Dad. Joining us again this year for their own Kites for a Cure event in New Jersey was the family of Elliot Chalmay. They remember their father through Elliot's legacy. We also want to acknowledge and thank our other partners who are funding new grants with us this year. Again this year, the Kane Halter Fund is sponsoring the Hope Now Award. This award honors the research laboratory and its leader that has made the most progress in lung cancer research in a particular year as they seek to develop novel treatments. And this year's award is presented to Dr. Mark Ladani of Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Lung cancer has really changed in the past few years. It's gone from being one of the toughest, most depressing areas of oncology to one of the most exciting, hopeful areas uh, in cancer treatment. Lung cancer has become the, the poster child for how research can really make a difference in patients' lives. We are also receiving continuing funding from... This year, we also welcome a number of new groups joining forces with Uniting Against Lung Cancer. Keisha Kirkland was an otherwise healthy woman when she was diagnosed with stage 3A non-small cell lung cancer in 2008. For HD is clear, no rain in sight. So she is a weather she anchor at our NBC affiliate WYFF-TV in Greenville, South Carolina. She is also the mother of a young daughter and the wife of LaVon Kirkland, a former all-pro NFL linebacker. As she fought the cancer in her lungs, she shared her story with her viewers. I was not a smoker, as you know, but um, I, lung cancer, does, there's no boundaries. It affects everyone. Undaunted, she went through six rounds of chemotherapy, 33 radiation treatments, major surgery to remove part of her lung, bags of pills, months of pain, and after all that, she recently had a PET scan to check on her progress. Now you've had the PET scan. What did it show? Good news, that the scan was clear. I am cancer free today. And that is a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Keisha still needs to be checked regularly, but she is optimistic. I obviously have some work left. <laughs> God has a bigger plan for me, obviously. Now she and her husband have joined in uniting against lung cancer. We, of course, need your support to help us provide research funding for innovative ideas that will eventually lead to effective diagnosis and treatment for lung cancer. And we continue to honor and remember Joan Scarangello as we build Uniting Against Lung Cancer into an organization that is making a difference. Thank you. <laughs>